Martin Luther was fascinated by the Christmas story. He, and I share this with him, was particularly struck by the way in which common, ordinary, even lowly characters are called to play special roles in the unfolding of our salvation. In Luke 1, when Mary is told that she is to be the mother of the long-awaited Messiah, she praised God and talked of how her spirit rejoices in God her Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. We cannot miss the significance of this. God integrates into the nativity story an unwed couple of no social standing, a manger, lowly shepherds, and sages from another faith tradition all together. The unfolding of our salvation takes place not in the center of religious or social power, not among the elite class of religious and social leaders, but incorporates the lowly, the ones who know what it is like to be on the margins without power or status. There is no pretense among these folks that somehow who they are or what they have accomplished has resulted in their being included in the story. No, it's purely by divine initiative. And the same is true for all of us. This is a humbling reminder to us. Everyone is included in God's story. Everyone has a place at the table. Who do we need to make room for? Who do we need to make sure knows that they are invited to participate fully in what God is doing in this world.